It's Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee, and it's uh, Sunday night, and where am I exactly? You're at Commonwealth Sanctuary. And this is, oh, this is in Kentucky? Yes. And it's like Dayton? Oh, Dayton, Kentucky. And what is your name? I'm Allison Stroud. And you're the, you you run the, the open mic? The open mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and your name? I'm Jonathan. Jonathan Allen. Awesome. And you, were you like, headline the show. I'm Alex. That was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, everyone did great. So, I got all these cards, and what you do is you pick something, you'll open it up, tell me what, why you picked that one, and just talk about the cards for as little as long as you want. Then I'll give you a pen, you sign one, you can oh, keep wow, the cards if you want. I'm giving Beavis and Butthead for sure. I didn't see that. Yeah, of course. Beavis and Butthead is a good set. Let me tell you that. When I was a kid in middle school, me and a, uh, yeah, me and a friend tell whoever you want. made a bunch of like Beavis and Butthead comics ourselves, oh, yeah? and then we got in trouble. And got sent to the principal's office. That makes sense in a way. They were too funny and really mean. So right. About other people. So. Yeah, of course. That's fun future. though. Do you still have those? Nope, definitely yeah. not. That'd be crazy. Well, you can hold on to a lot of stuff. True, I guess. True, yeah. True. Keep it on the horse farm. All right, so. I think I got a rare bar. This shit's shiny. Yeah, sometimes the first one is like special or I don't know exactly. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Wall of Youth. Mistress. These are weird ass. These are trading cards? I guess so. Sometimes they're stickers. I Only one other, uh, I think, uh, Brendan Sagalow opened up uh, Beavis and Butthead. Tell me. Jonah Hill? It's a show like now, what's thing. the and, point and, of this? A point of what? The cards. Your joy. The, the cards joy themselves? Yeah. Or what we're doing? Nah, what we're doing, <laughs> I, I get. I get, and there is no point to it. Okay, but what right. is the point to this? Well, obviously. Like the cards. Like themselves. The cool. At the time, it was a way to make money from kids ooh, who ooh, wanted ooh, to collect. Ooh. Do you remember? That was the coach. Remember his voice? Yeah, yeah. It's the only other person who's opened up a Beavis and Butthead pack. Yeah, they're just w weird. I think they're just clips from the show. Not this close. Oh yeah, that's a great one. Nude butt. You really can't get wrong with any Beavis and Butthead. No, not at all. No. Beavis and Butthead rocks. Wow. All nice right. close up of his face. Hey, and if you just sign one, and then you can keep the others if you so desire. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Wow. Thank you so much. That was, it was fun. Well, that person did the circumcision stuff right before me. I'm like, I got to talk about that. But I was not. I was not prepared at all. I know. I can do my circumcision chunk. Thank you. Shit. I guess I got to do my circumcision material. I wasn't planning on that. But first, I want to address, um, I kind of like you guys' uh, Commonwealth Sanctuary logo thing here. Uh, it could be kind of better, because you've got these really cool windows, and then there's none of that here. I don't know. Seems like... But, um, I just want to teach, like, as a profession, so... If you've got a price on these, I buy those. Uh, certain stuff, uh... <laughs> like, they, they, the, the original certain I don't know if you guys know, they only come off the tip, like the, uh... The, uh, what is that, like, the religious, uh... The sacrament. The sacrament, it was a sacrament to God. And they only cut off the tip of the foreskin, not the whole thing. Um, but what happened was, back in those times, everyone, um, like, everyone did sports nude. And so, so you could tell if you were cut. And so, you know, they'd be like, he's a Jew, he's a Jew, he's a Jew. <laughs> and then, I don't, because I wasn't prepared to do this, uh, I don't know what there was like a big council and they were pissed off because what, what would happen is the Jewish people, they would tie a brass ring to their foreskin and pull it down and hang that weight to try to have that foreskin that was left hang down and cover it so you couldn't tell. Um, and then the council of, uh, I don't know, was like, forget that, we're, we don't like that, you've got to cut off all the foreskin. Well, <laughs> in, in thinking about the foreskin stuff, because uh, I, you know, I, I'm cut. Uh, <laughs> I'm cut. Uh, uh, I've been wondering, you know, like, there were two crash movies, I don't know if you remember that, it was like, there was like a crash movie that was like more popular, and then there was another crash movie where 
where they like just were in car crashes and they would get like scars and stuff and injure. I don't know if you guys saw that one, anyone? You know, the crash movie? Yeah, it's phenomenal. I don't remember it and stuff. But in that movie, they got off on, because the scar tissue is more sensitive. So I wonder if we've traded the sensitive foreskin for the scar tissue around the penis, and maybe that's better. I don't know, because I can't compare and contrast with me. And then the people who got it later, like, I don't know if that's too late to get it. Or is that, you know, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Has opened Austin Powers. Yeah, okay, baby. So he See if I can get it open at all. Yeah, it's a tough one. He's Thank still you. Involved, for sure. But, uh, it's, a it's a tough one to open. It is. It might be the shakes you were talking about earlier. No, I had a drink. Oh, okay. You know the guy, Chris Walker, takes photos. We'll get it this time. Yeah, no worries. There we go. See? Yeah, yeah. And it was on the other side. See what we got here. Yeah. Seth Green's character, Scott Evil. Oh, nice. And oh, he was gonna that that, that role was written for um, oh, um the comedian uh, who does the long like uh, uh sort of story things. And, uh, I'm trying to remember because it was written for somebody. It's a else. New York comedian. I cannot think of his name at the top of my head, which is so embarrassing. Shit. Ah, it doesn't matter. I guess like it there. Colin Quinn still thinks you know he just he's all bad. Good scene there. Nice. Baby as a baby. Right? Them in their scuba gear. Right? 
the time travel stuff. Oh, yeah. Did you sign that one? Or? No, I couldn't open your marker. Oh. Yeah, this is not the marker I usually use. It's a, it was in my kid's car. It was in a kid's car? It was in my kid's car. Oh, your kid's car. Okay. Yeah. It's like a paint one, so I don't know if it's smelly or not. Very dark, so it's kind of hard to see. Oh, they're like kissing or something. Super. Thanks so much. That was a fun set. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, two years. Two years? Wow. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Thank you, man. Not a long time. Mm -hmm. Good yeah, stuff. All right, man. You can do this if you want after. Good uh, set. Yeah, I'm taking off. No worries, man. Good set as well. Thanks. Fisty. Oh, yeah, I'll see you soon, man. Swifty Hit Fisty. That was fun. Here fun. we go. All right. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of those cards. Just sign one. Oh, I shouldn't have put that back on. What color is it? I think it's black. Okay. Did you say your name again? Jonathan Hamill. Jonathan Hamill. Yeah. Like uh, Luke Skywalker Hamill. I spell slightly different. But you yes. want the other ones? It's up no, to you. No, okay, I mean, no problem. You know, put yeah. them in the... No worries. Awesome. Thank you so much. I would, I would love to. Yes, I'm going to stop though and then oh, re-shard it up so I can just get a second. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, so Dave. Much.